people act like predators. Alexandria Harvey, a Canadian poet and novelist once quoted, Never have these words been imparted with vehement zeal as the trumpeting rally to battle than in the dressing rooms today at the Kakindu Stadium here in Jinja. West of the source of the Nile, under the nippy crisp cover of the clouds fettering the would-be relentless afternoon sun, a new home, the Star Times Ghana Premier League, and it's all brought to you by MTN, the official broadcast sponsor. We're getting straight into the action today. Good to see the return of the man known as Bright for me, also was uh, the first to get a red card this season. Yeah, interesting, by the way. And uh, it's uh, been one of those um, storylines um, regarding uh, Arua Hill. Just on Saturday against Chelsea Villa, again they got another red card, and it's, this time it was Richard. Squares the ball, and it lands towards Ivan Ayam, shoulders off his man, takes the shot. The referee career judged that for a foul. But again, the ingenuity, the energy, the resilience and creativity Ivan Ayam brings to this team. They've sorely missed him. Yeah, that was a good play for him. I think the, the intention that he showed and of course um, the persistence going for that ball was uh, quite impressive. The only problem is that it seems like they're... It's about them, Arua Hill! Just does not get it on target. Not a bad execution. Yes, it wasn't on target, but I think uh, the fact that he would uh, he, he managed to really bend it the way he did, and also he carried it past the de the defense there, in the wall. I think uh, it shows that um, he just needs um, to practice a lot better. Maybe then he can get um, his targets, and also, he and I guess um, just tells you that if those crosses keep coming in, then he can um, always uh, yield something for Arua Hill. A judge there to have uh, used his body slightly more robust than uh, the referee would have wanted. And a free kick given here. 20 minutes, still no goals to write home about. Nice. Hold up play there from Alex Chitata. Sending it up for Luis Sibawa. Spends a minute there, but manages to get back onto his feet and draws it. Yes, um, Gaddafi. Well, looking at upholding Brian Kalumba here, upholding very high standards in dribbling and decides to go imaginative. Now that was something that took us by surprise. That was not part of the script they've been running about with. That's the entertainment we're looking for. The, the bottom line is that um, look, looking at that particular phase of play and what um, Brian Kalumba just said, that is exactly what fans expect of him. That kind of imagination. You, you run with the ball, you push the defence back and you cut inside and then you make your trade um, to be... Uh, um, Johnson Odong to push it further forward a little too enthusiastically. But Wesibawa working his magic gets to the ball and Chitata had a chance. Had a chance, Alex Chitata just could not direct on target. But what was that as far as defending is concerned? Washua Bosa knows that was their very good mother weaving her wand. How many times do you get an opportunity with no defender, absolutely none, marking you all shell-shocked? My word, that delivery, the delivery was so good coming in from Resibawa. And um, clearly, with that kind of delivery, there should be no excuse for like that that's a ball that um, he's had results for your team. And that's something that you feel that um, this um, Gaddafi and Arua Hill sides both can do because they've got the players that can do it, but just that... Um, they're just lacking in uh, the confidence. The byline on the fight in and well, straight. Mahadia Yakakosa trying to ghost his way through. Shimmy's on. Shimmy's away. Brought to the ground. Referee says no can do. Talk about taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Mahadia Yakakosa decided to go ahead and uplift the entire team on his own. It's unfortunate that he's still on the ground. But the question will be was that a penalty? Well, Referee. Instantly adjudged it to be wrong. The Arua Hill players feel that Mahadia Yakakosa fouled, but a handshake there from Chitata tells the appreciation for his gift here. Um, great Last tackle. Ditch challenge. Yeah, by Vuni. I, 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 no, I think it was Okello, uh, Okello Isaac. Yeah, that was a good tackle. I don't think that was a penalty. It was a good tackle by um, Isaac Okello, but you can see that he, he was hurt in the process because I think the pressure that came from that kick. Put down. It's a free kick awarded. Might be need to switch up that midfield there, especially for Arua Hill. Rafi Wahab has not been the outlet. He should be as a quick release. Here gets Wesibawa coming in and he can deliver the cross. And it's a goal in! A 
that's been the one instance they've been hunting for. The one quick thinking that they sought out here. And Wesimawa, by what will he always pick the right cross? A pitch of a cross, an absolute delight. And now the players are looking to assault the referee and the assistant. This is getting crazy out of hand. Bright Vuni, you just came from a suspension. Stay clear. Pandemonium descending here on the pitch. And just as equally stand as we are right here, the Supremos of both clubs. Well, there'll be no doubt that was a beautiful cross from Wesibawa. There'll be no doubt Alex Chitata pinpoint with the head. Sudden quick release, allowing Wesibawa to get in place. Quick thinking, the defense switched off. And as always, they pay the price. If you do not act like the predator, you become the prey. Well, that, that cross was uh, a really a very good cross, very good delivery coming in from uh, Luesibawa. But I understand why uh, <laughs> the, the, the Rahil players are contesting that because they feel that it was a quick free kick the, and, and um, they feel that the referee had not blown his whistle. But nonetheless, if you look at the time that ball is delivered, Arua Hill had four players in that penalty area. At least two of them should be able to deal with the scorer From and the pocket. Wesibawa fell to the ground. The referee will have to hold play there. Wouldn't be shocked if uh, a warning is uh, issued out. Yeah. Looks Somebody. like it's now retaliation for the goal. Somebody needs to go and talk to the referee because he's already on a yellow card and um, he should be very careful otherwise he's going to put his team in such a precarious position they end up getting um, a second yellow card in two games or rather a second red card because that was the kind of and that's the second time an indecision and the ball is just picked from his pocket Wesibawa fell to the ground the referee will have to hold play there wouldn't be shocked if uh, a warning is uh, issued out yeah looks like Somebody. it's now retaliation for the goal somebody needs to go and talk to the referee because he's already on a yellow card and um, he should be very careful otherwise he's going to put his team in such a precarious position they end up getting um, a second yellow card in two games or rather a second red card because that no it's a second yellow card and Paul Musamali is going to take an early shower no question about it it's there a second you go one. confirmation coming it is red Paul Musamali Third has to card. get now this will not help matters in any bit this is where sanctions are needed for these players from their own teams you cannot keep in going you cannot keep going gang ho like that there was no point needed your own teammates and your opponents are trying to restrain you and you still are disrespecting the rules of the game exactly what example are you setting with somebody and, for a prayer and, and, of your stature and the thing is that what he did merits a second yellow card because he, he got a first yellow card he got a first yellow card for a handball and what he just did there in um taking out um godfrey resibawa is uh the kind of foul that merits another a yellow card still so for a player with a lot of experience he should know better because that kind of foul that is a yellow card there's no question about because what was he doing there he well, just he took a man just exactly took the man out player. so that for Paul with somebody it's a big shame and he cost his team now you're 10 men you are That's a goal yeah, I guess, I guess it's right. it has to be something to do with the dressing room fracas that was coming through. But here comes a chance once again. Nice dribble coming in from Ogwang. Could have thought that was a foul, but the referee's whistle stays mute. And a nice through pass here for Mugaru, who sends it sky high. Opportunity not yet gone. There's still a chance here. Arua Hill, Abdul Rashid Kawawa. Abdullahi Rashid. Not an opportunity, but that was the moment. That was the spell that was their outlet yes and you can see the disappointment of living sony babas as he continues to score that interplay of course i thought that this should have been a free kick but then i think the referee lets the game go on because they have the advantage yeah, i don't know how much the advantage but then that interplay very good um ingenuity Pass from maduka and then what is alan mugalu thinking is that a cross is that an attempt towards goal that's a huge disappointment and i'm sure he'll be kicking himself Let. on target Put it in the roof of the net. He has seen that being done by so many players. Aren't we glad he's not with the armed forces. Would never hit a fly with a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is Vuni doing and a there? Mess up here! Chitata! Doubles the tally! The 
similar to what we saw yesterday. It's actually Brian Kalumba that buries that and buried effectively his hands in his in his his head in his hands. For Waswa Bosa, that malevolent look about him that spells mischief, it's totally unraveled for Rua Hill. They've just self-destructed here. An absolute horror show that they're putting up in the second 45 minutes. And the soldier boys, always ready, always prepared, true to the word, took the advantage, took a simple goal, said thank you very much. Well, I, I, you know, it's funny that I was talking about the move even before it unfolded and I talked about what I was actually asking myself, I think you heard me, what is Vuni doing there? And then, before I, I could even complete the word, or even... At 1-0, you stood the chance. With 10 men at 2-0 down, with less than 4 minutes, you're wasted. Here comes Kalumba once again! Could make it another one. But it was a little too high. It just goes wayward. Probably look at that chance and say, well, I'm not the only one who missed the ball, right? But how much of a change or impact would it have had on the game if he had actually hit flash? Yeah, that was a good, good, good pass there coming in uh, from uh, Alex Titata. Good um, imagination and ingenuity reading um, the movement of his teammate. But for in my book, I think that Brian Kalumba is my man of the match. He may not have uh, been excellent, really, of today. Just like that phase of play, they get the ball and somebody runs on the outside, opens up the field, and you'd have, you'd have expected that Mpande plays the ball on the far side, and instead he plays it on the infield, into the into the middle of the field, and the, where there's a lot of bodies. Short there coming in, but fine save. The goalkeeper will take his time now. No need to rush Christmas Kusima. I must say, maybe they did not take the words I started with to heart. That quote from Alexandria Harvey. If we act like prey, they will act as predators. And by large, have they been ensnared? Yes, they have. Uh, if you look at that kind of uh, decision that was made there by uh, Bright Foodie, letting the ball bounce, and it's final Gee. pass. Final pass has been awful for us. Uh, here comes Wesibawa. Threads a long one here, looking for Chitata. Chitata with space. Almost with precision. Ooh, la la. That would have been a gem of a goal. Top notch, just unfortunate, but what a cross, brilliant delivery, excellent control, and near immaculate finish. Yeah, that was a good pass coming in now from um, the man they are good for Resibawa, and of course the technique, picking up the spot and trying to lift the ball over the goalkeeper. You feel that um, probably it was a bit overheat there, but um, the execution and the idea, brilliant. Just that um, in the in is that I know that one absolutely so keep his place in the team. Well, it's a three against one scenario here. Gaddafi have the running of the mill, and what a dreadful cross! Absolutely, infinitely better. John Diamukama. Well, he comes up again. Can he make amends with a second chance here? And still, no dividends, but the header comes in. The goalkeeper does just enough to take it away. The on slaughter is on rampage. The soldier boys are poking shots and throwing jabs and looking to fail the leopard within. Yeah, you can see that um, right now they are not even defending any better than they did earlier on. I guess they are resigned to their fate. And you can see the levels of energy that are coming in from Gaddafi trying to really put um, Arua Hill to the sword. Ali across there from John Yamukama. Oh my word. Oh, it was a rich. horror show. Yeah, it was poor, poor, poor. And, and it, here comes another chance to attack. And this is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Brian Kalumba. But the goalkeeper acquits himself pretty well. In what might be the final pit or hit them on the counter-attack. And none has even glanced a blow at the opponent. Ball in. Tempted to break up play there. Good play coming in from Gaddafi Football Club. To the defense. The referee finally concludes what ends up being a fiery encounter. Brian Kalumba managing to seal the deal here for the team after Alex Chitata and what will be a little controversial circumstances managed to secure the opening here for the Soldier Boys. And once again, Arua Hill cannot find a way to outsmart the Soldier Boys and have been gunned down. Emotions rising high, a red card in there for Paul Musamali, and quite the list 
of things to discuss as this game comes to a close. Richard Anyama is inconsolable, is in quite a fit, and believes that justice has not been delivered. And as far as we are concerned here on Sanyuka Prime, the new home of the Star Times Regatta Premier League, brought to you by MTN, the official sponsor. It is full time at the Kakindu Stadium here in Jinja. Gaddafi Football Club 2, Arua Hill Sports Club 0.